Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Taurus. I hope everyone is doing well. This is a general reading for the weekend of March 25th, 2022. We know that time is an illusion. <laughs> so, <laughs> so whenever you see this video is when you're supposed to receive the message, okay? Taurus Collective. And Taurus Collective for this weekend. The 25th. Okay. Of March. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you guys. The overall energy for the Taurus Collective is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. That's total contentment. That's the wealth card too. You got some money coming in, Taurus. <laughs> Let's get some more cards and see what's going on here. Yeah, some energies. Thank you. Page of Swords in reverse. Let's see what's going on. Taurus Collective. Ace of Wands. We got the Seven of Cups and the Moon in reverse. I have some choices and it's telling you to release your fears. Okay, the Three of Pentacles. Because you're going to be working hard, you're going to be admired for the work that you produce. The Nine of Swords, you're going to have some, some stressful times or some sort of anxiety. Some sleepless nights, you're not sleeping too well, Taurus. I'm trying to think. I cannot remember what that page of, of swords is in reverse. I know upright is somebody stalking. One more, please. Thank you. And the three of cups in reverse, an ending. Okay, what's at the bottom? Ten of pentacles. Total contentment in all areas of life. Okay, let me look at this real quick. The page of swords in reverse. Yeah, that's the hater. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's an unprepared state. It's what it's what's unfor it's it's what is unforeseen. You really don't have anything to say. You just want a new beginning. <laughs> uh, lack of education. Okay, let's get a clarifier. Why is this page of swords in reverse for the Taurus collected? Why is that page of swords here? Thank you. Nine of cups. Okay, so your, your lack of planning is keeping you from completing something. Okay, because the Nine of Cups is a wish card. And it's all, it also talks about nearing a, a completion. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, it's saying that you don't have, that you didn't have, you didn't correctly plan. Okay, so you're almost finished. You're reflecting on how far you've come, but it's, 
It's something to do with your planning, Taurus. You, you didn't plan correctly. Or you're being selfish and going, going, um, you're being selfish and going, going after your happiness. You know, I'm gonna get in, um, some more cards. We're gonna figure that out exactly what that is. The, the, the Ace of Wands, why is that here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Taurus Collective. Thank you. Okay, yeah, you are. You're being selfish. I needed, I needed something, some help with that. <laughs> okay, so you're being selfish. Okay, and going after your happiness. Um, As far as uh, you're taking chip trips, going to concerts, um, taking a, whatever hobbies that you guys enjoy, and you're going after your happiness. Yes, you are. That is exactly what you're doing. And with the Seven of Cups, you're going to have many choices. So what's, why is the Seven of Cups here? For the Taurus Collective. Thank you. Okay, you're going to have a lot of choices in money. Okay? And stability. And it's telling you with the Fool. The Fool in Reverse talks about... um. Uh, m moving forward without fear is telling you to release your fears. Okay? The Three of Pentacles. Why is that here? Okay, your money looking good. You're going after your happiness. I'm loving this reading. Okay, yeah. You're going to have justice. You're going to have justice after you, you, you're putting all this work in. It's going to be absolutely wonderful. Your life is going to feel in balance again. That is wonderful. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Is this overwork? Stress? Why is that Nine of Swords here for the Taurus Collective? Thank you. Okay, something about a love situation. Oh, a breakup. You're thinking about cutting somebody off. Yeah, you're thinking about cutting somebody off. Let me see something. Okay, you're at a, a crossroads. Yeah, you're thinking about cutting off a commitment and it's stressing you out or or you or you've already cut it off but because it's a two of swords and the lovers i think it, you're thinking about it you're thinking about cutting breaking up with somebody and it's really bothering you taurus ten of wands why is this here for the taurus collective yeah because the lovers is at a crossroad and it talks about commitments okay you're going to be victorious you're going to lay them burdens down Okay, so you're going to make a decision and you're going to lay those burdens down and you're going to be happy again with the sun. Why is the sun here? Yeah, you're going to be in prayer. You're going to take some time off to be alone. Yeah. The Three of Cups talks about a missed opportunity. So you feel like you feel like once you ended this that it was a, a missed opportunity. Give me one more card for the three cups, please. Yeah, you're gonna gain your, your balance this weekend. For whenever you read whenever you see this video, you're gonna gain your balance. Okay. Yeah, you feel like you, you lost something here with this relationship being over. Because for some reason, I'm not seeing any cheater cards here. But for some reason, somebody's deciding to, to get a divorce or something, some sort of relationship they're ending. 
and they're just going to lay it down. They don't have time anymore. They're just going to end it. And they're going to be happy. And Hangman talks about being in, um, in prayer, but it also talks about life being in a stalemate where you're really not doing, it's not too much action. You're really just focusing on your coin. That's why the uh, Ace of Pentacles is the, the top of the overall energy of your reading um, because you're chasing your, your, your career, your money. But here you feel like you're thinking, you're second guessing yourself. After you did, after you ended this relationship, it's making you feel you're lonely. And you're heartbroken. But it's saying it was going to be painful. It's going to be painful. But at least it's over now, Taurus. Walk away from these them past memories. Put them down. And gain your balance. At this time, you need to be strong with the strength. Because you know the truth of the matter, Taurus. And you need to move forward, okay, on your new beginning. You have clarity, and it's time to move forward. Yeah. Because once you sit in, in, in your... In your on your throne, you're making all this money. You're going to take some time off and enjoy yourself. We saw that earlier. And another relationship is going to come, which is going to produce marriage. You see how them cards came out? And you got the king and queen of wands. Switch the roles. Don't matter. The king of wands came out. You're sitting on your throne getting your money. And the, uh, the relationship is going to be presented to you with the Queen of Wands. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Where did, where did it go? That's the ending. You're going to make a decision to break it off. But something better is coming. All right, Taurus. Good stuff. I love it. It told you to be strong. And it's, it's heartbreaking. But you just keep on working hard on you. That's absolutely wonderful. Let's get you some um, action goddess messages here. Let's get you some African goddess messages here. African goddess is rising. Can we get some advice for the Taurus Collective regarding this spread? Yes. For the Taurus Collective. Any advice for them regarding the spread? Any advice for the Taurus Collective regarding the spread? Thank you. Secrets revealed. See? That Ten of Swords, I, I told you. Secrets revealed. There's going to be secrets revealed. Alchemy. You can manifest anything you want to ma manifest. Secrets revealed. In alchemy, it's in your bloodline. You can produce anything that you want. You can manifest it. Concentrate on it. Pray about it. Write it down. Joy. Absolute joy and contentment. And you deserve it. Everyone deserves to be happy and have some joy. Taurus, this is your reading for the weekend. I, um, It's a lot of changes, but you are going to be fine. Okay. What do I always say? Make it a good weekend on purpose. All right. 
Good luck with this. You guys take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.